Okay. I won't be popping in and out pretty much all day if you want to watch. If you want to, you want to, you want to, you don't have to if you want to. Anyway, first things first. My name's Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Amulet. I had a crazy idea. Is it possible to scan over a video? So right now I'm spending my Thanksgiving scanning stuff to see exactly what I could get away with. I'm always interesting what I can experiment and get away with. So I'm listening to this bass test upstairs while I'm calibrating some of my speakers upstairs. And I thought to myself, is it possible that I can add fire in the speakers while the video is actually playing? Because it's kind of changed a few things. So I'm in here trying to see what I can get away with the scanner. There's a lot of stuff on here. I haven't figured it out yet, but I found out I could actually scan the, uh, you have to have two projectors do it. One has to be more higher than the other, because keep in mind, it's the two projectors running at the same time, hitting each other at the same time. So one has to be much higher than the other one. So that's the video playing on YouTube of the bass. This is me down here about to go in and actually add some fire to those speakers. And I'm seeing what I can get away with. Now I figured out a few things. I can't scan the video while there is writing on the screen because that will burn into the other screen and you will see that image over there. So I kind of have to do this while the video is actually playing. So I'm going to bring this back. And this is unlicensed copyrighted music so I won't get in any trouble for doing this. So let me come over here while that's starting up. Let's start seeing what we can do on here. So I actually scanned the video while it was playing. Go with the magic wand. See if we can get the middle speaker. Comb that up real good. Might be a little sloppy, but I'm just seeing what I can get away with. I'm kind of rushing to do this. And while that video is playing, it gives me enough time to get in here and do whatever I need to do to cook this in. works that means I can have my own personal special effects all kinds of cool stuff because I'm looking to do something completely different with that rear projection screen technology working on I want to add something completely different I want to make things come to life on a whole nother level so I gotta be an experiment to see what I can get away with I don't like to share document now the cool thing about this because it's already scanned I can always go back and play the, um, the video I just can't have those letters popping up and pause because that will burn through and you will see that on the other end so it won't be a clean shot. Alright, so I'm going to take my, um, so if I'm going to get this line in here, I'm going to have to use that brush to get in here. I'm going to have to widen that a bit. Might be too wide. Alright, my skills ain't going to be that good. Just out of curiosity, just seeing what I can get away with. Later on, uh, I'll do a better job. Need to get between those lines of speakers. Check my uh now if the video runs, I don't have to worry about it because the scanner already got a copy of it, so that's already noted. Let's see if I can get away with it. Right. Too bad. I'll take that. I'm gonna smooth up my curve a little bit more. There we go. I got it to get me a more, a more advanced mouse. I'm going to give me a really, really serious controlled mouse to give me a little more control. All right, so we got this in here. I just want to cover this up a little better. Let's see what's going on. Much time over here is good. All right, so maybe we'll put some crazy something on the out edge. Um, let's widen the brush a little bit. Oh, that's too wide. Let's bring it down to here. Board around. I'm not worrying about it, so I said we're going to see if I can do it. There. 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 Crazy stuff in there. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, so that time. Let me go on. Drop those images on there. And let's see, there's still some flames in there. Alright, let me see. So I'll drop me a file. So this is what we got. So now we got to do is publish it. Whoop. Let me 
reach for him. He's breaking my neck. And yeah, I can scan a video, literally, and change it. That is freaking sick. Hold on, hold on. I got to go back. Grab my, grab my video and go back a little bit. hologram in the back. Oh, that is freaking cool. So, yeah. So, so this would be nice for DJs. And I'm using the blue. Blue technology is actually firing all this off. So, it's kind of pretty interesting. So, you need two projectors to do it. The bottom projector is the scan. The top projector is the main projector that's producing the image. You have to make sure that the top one has to be slightly higher than the bottom one so it doesn't overshadow there's actually two images hitting this at the exact same time so what happens is i actually show the video first when you show the video first when you pause it you can't have any of that writing up it has to be a clean pause once you pause it then you scan it with the other uh projector system once that scans it you go and you can colorize anything you want on the screen add special effects anything you want and then when you get done boom there you go And you couldn't even tell. Now, see, this is where I had it. Should have got it a lot cleaner right here. But like I said, I just wanted to see what I could get away with. So this one I'm doing today, it's a I got some ideas. I can play around with today. Just wanted to pop that in real quick. And then I can change my background a little bit. Let's see if I'm going to change my background to something pretty crazy. Let's put something, something really that stands out. Do the plasma. Ooh, plasma is freaking crazy hot. Yeah, I'm gonna do the plasma. I haven't seen anybody scan a video yet, so I'm thinking like, can I possibly scan a video? Because I'm playing the, I'm calibrating my speakers upstairs for the theater room, for the gaming room, and I'm thinking like, okay. It'd be nice if these speakers had fire coming out of them. This, uh, this is the plasma no effect. I said, it'd be nice if the speakers had fire coming out of them. And I said, wait a minute, can I scan a video? Can I actually scan over video? And apparently, yeah, you can scan over videos. Let's add something like, I want to add, um, let's do the matrix. I got a matrix one on here set up. I know they got a matrix one. So it's kind of really easy once you get the equipment. Once I get the projector, I can another projector. Actually, I'm going to be buying another kit and I'm putting it on top of um, Ultra Short Throw. That's what the tape, um, that tabletop. You'll see it when it gets here. It's some equipment I ordered to basically project on tables, floors, whatever I want. So I can actually blow open a whole floor and make it like the whole floor is caving in because I have a projector design. Actually, I bought an Ultra Short Throw projector with a special stand that will allow me to project an image downward and that will allow me to actually 3D map a floor and blow a whole floor out. I wonder if I can put a special effect behind it. Can I put a special effect behind that, that split system? Let me see something. I'm going to throw a special effect behind it. I'm going to put another layer behind it and throw in a special effect. Where's the special effect? They got the one that basically, I think the whole wall is dropping in. Is this it? Special effect. It'll all blow down. 
this too much. Dissolve. This is dissolve, right? This is going to be all right. It also calls for milk. It's dissolve. This is the secret. Milk to go. For camping, I can go to the I want to map out the whole, the whole thing and dissolve. The There's also box milk you can get. Alright, can I go back to that one? I want that one. No, I don't want to roll it. It's caving in. There's a firefly effect. This stuff Folding. is real milk at a real affordable price, usually if you're on sale. This stuff expires on June 1st. So Alright. Folding. Folding. Can I change the color for her? I'm going to get vertical. I can start it, I can speed it up, slow it down, I loop it. I can uh, shadow the fold, shadow the fold. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, that's freaking hot. All right, I got to put that one in. That's freaking sick. All right, I got to try that one. I'm going to shadow the fold. So actually now I found I can bend images. I wouldn't even use that for. So I'm gonna have to find I'm gonna find something really cool. So any video I want, I can actually on top of it. I can actually make someone's house look like it's literally on fire. So now I'm thinking about going over nah that's wrong. Let me go over here. This is essentially the Let's put this in real quick. Oh nuclear reactor. This is freaking cool. Let's mess with this. Making gas famous turkey. Gotta get fast. Right first. Mm -hmm. What I have to do is, if I pause it, I gotta pause it where we get nothing on the screen. No, we got the bottom half. That's not gonna work. It's gotta be. It's gotta be clean. If not that'll burn right through the screen. Nope, it's gonna give me that somewhat at the bottom. Can't need that. And it has to be clean. So let's see. Let's try this one right here. See what we get. I need to come in here and I need to wipe this right here. Change this. That's getting confusing on the screen. We'll clean that up right now. Take that out all together. Can I get a clean one out of that one? Nope. If the video's long enough, I can probably get around it. Right, let's clean this up. All right, there's the scan. I'm going to scan the entire video. So right now, the video's long enough, so it looks like I can get away with it. But I actually wanted more designs on the screen. But I'll take this for right now, so I can play around with this. This practice, anyway. So while that's playing, i got to go in and scan it. We're actually scanning the video now. Oh, this equipment is freaking amazing. Tell you one thing, it was a complete freaking nightmare working with this stuff, man. But once you figure it out and get it down pat, it's amazing what you can do with it. That's why I ordered the ultra short throw projector. Because I just saw somebody on that former site blow a floor out. I mean, the floor, like, it just caved right on in. I'm thinking, oh, I want to do that next. I'm going to learn that one. All right, I know what I'm going to do with the front. I'm going to basically put in, I'm going to put a shattered screen in the front. Got a nice black background. Here we go. So this is where we at right now. That's the scanner picked up. The video is playing slow enough. We're out running out of time here, so we're going to our magic brush, or should we go to? A magic wand instead. 
just in case we need the magic wand. Magic wand feels out a little better. Come on, let me get this out right here. A little better. There we go. Ah, too much, too much, too much. Bring that back up. That'd be cool right there if I left that in there. Just put that in the flames, but I just want the whole... I need this right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta bring it up. We got to that time. Bring it down a little bit. Just a little bit too far up. And then bring in that brush again. There we go. I can just keep it in there and keep it under control. We got it. Outside, we're going outside. Problem is basically it's what the scanner will pick up because sometimes the scanner won't pick up the video properly. And you got a problem on your hands. No, we're still hitting outside. We don't want outside. Where it gets, this is where it gets hard trying to scan things you're not supposed to be scanning. Literally you're not supposed to be scanning stuff like this, but I figure might as well Let's see what we can get away with today. We got we get ready right plenty of time, plenty of time. It's a long bit, it's a long demo. It's long, long. Let's get that middle piece. There we go. I forgot why I can't get this in here a little better. There we go. Kind of like rushing against the time, I'm trying to figure out how to get this all done inside. And I gotta clean this up around here really bad. good I'm looking at my cell phone my cell phone is telling me how long the video is going to last but well, it doesn't make well I haven't scanned the surface yet to scan the surface I forgot to scan the surface already so I got a copy of it already just gotta put the video back to where it was at all right took a bit there next I'm doing my logo I'm actually gonna do my logo next I want to make it rain my logos. All right, so let's go in here and let's clean this up and let's bring this down a little bit lower. Bring it down to about two. Hopefully, in two, we don't mess with the other screen. Clean this up. Good. It's not gonna be perfect starting off, but at least it's something. Give me an idea of exactly what I need to do. Oh, this is just practice to see what I can get away with. I've seen some people in there, they had some experience. I guess they had some experience, and they still could, good God, the stuff they were designing on that freaking page was freaking amazing. These guys were hitting the side of buildings and everything, man. And one guy had a guy running across the bridge, like a marathon, running across the side of a bridge. I was like, wow. And that's where I'm getting my inspiration, just watching these guys, talking to them, learning from them. These guys are teaching me. I'm not coming out acting like I know everything. I'm learning from these guys. I'm getting as much information as I can as possibly can from the learning to be the best at this. All about learning. It's a learning process. Let me see. You good on that one? How much time we got? Oh, we good. We got plenty of time. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna get as much knowledge as I possibly can. I'm gonna learn everything I possibly can from these jokers. They're right, not jokers. They're cool dudes, but that's my term of saying these jokers. Ah, Mother Jerry Ghost. All right, gotta go back in. That's too high up. I might even knock out some of my old good stuff. Ah, I did. I messed up. All right, I gotta go back in and just. Hopefully we can cover this up. I still got time. I wonder if I left it that way. I wonder what that would look like if I just left it splatter like that. I mean, that, nah, I can't do that. It would drive me crazy. That would be the okay again. Like, what the frick are you doing over here? And around, around, around. This is why I want to see this in rear projection. I want to see this on black technology in rear projection. It's just going to give it a much better effect. Can you believe that's that blue screen over there and i'm just going to take this right here and just be happy with it i'm just going to, have to get a better shot next time but let's just see what we get out of it real quick 
Let's go for it. Do something to special effects. Um, let's come over here. Let's see if we can shatter the screen. That's what I wanted to get out of it. Out of curiosity. About almost out. This is what we got. I wanted to get the whole thing. But that's going to be for a later time for some practice. At least I know I can scan stuff with it. I wonder what happens if I take a burning fireplace. Let's do fish. Let's do fish in a fish tank. Oh, it's a fish tank. Let's switch over to some fish. And this is going to run continuously. So I don't have to worry about this. Let's go over to. Um, bait. It's bait. That's gonna run for a while. Have to worry about running that on that. Let me turn this down. I don't want to hear stinky music. And let's remove what we have off the page. Off here. Let's get rid of this. Maya, I can draw in the video. So the video is being scanned right now. This will give me the ability to draw in the video while it's playing. So let me see what we want to add in there. Ooh, we should turn something on fire. Fire underwater. Oh, no, it'd be better if I did this in all blue. If I had it in deep blue and I had flames in there, oh, that'd have been pretty sick. I didn't think about that the last minute. Well, too late. We'll do that one later on. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh man, what the heck is that doohickey right there? That's a lot of freaking light hitting the screen right now. That's a lot. We got light here, we got light here, we got light here, we got light here. It's a lot of light. I mean, the image might be pulling up too. Okay, let's try something else. Let's pull up a darker video and see what happens. See what happens with that. We have too much light reflecting off that video. 4K fish. Something really dark. All right, this should be dark enough. That may be pulling too much light. That should work. And then there's an option on here. If I'm working with an area that has too much white light reflecting off of it, I can basically go in and I can actually dim all that. Adding, I'm still learning all this stuff out. So we're going to try it on that video. That's a bit darker. That's how that one works. There was somebody on the site yesterday talking about the login issues. I was like, don't bother with it. Just skip it. You'll still get everything you want. Just skip it. But there's no point. The login issues are freaking nightmares. I didn't bother with it. All right, so we'll scan that, see what comes up out of that. You can also control your camera settings too. And it does do 4K, it just support HDR. That guy did a marathon. He did an actual marathon running across the bridge. I'm like, wow, that's freaking amazing. See how much light we pull off of this one. Yeah. 
There we go. I thought so. The video was too bright. It was just producing too much without having a darker video in order to pull it off. So now I know. Use darker videos. See, that's why I said trial and error helps out a lot because then you know exactly what you need to have to figure out what you need to work with. All right, so that's cool. So let's set something on fire in here. Fire! Let's go over here and let's use the magic wand. We use the magic wand. Let's use the magic wand. Let's see what we can mess around in here. How far we can bring it down. Let's see. Go into here. Pepper out some fire in here. Okay, right there. We'll throw some pepper fire up in there. Trace around this area like so. There we go. Bring it over down here. Let's trace this area over here. Little spots over in here. This whole area right here's got some flame going on. There we go. Close it down here. This area right here. There we go. I'm gonna call this fire rock. Fire rock. Fish are swimming in fire rock. Should we put a trace in here somewhere? I want to cut this up a little bit better. And of course, I can basically take like a, them gifts, some videos, whatever. I can put one here, a little box, and I can shrink it right in there. So there's the mermaid swimming in the background and all that cool stuff, sunken ships. I might do one with a big daddy from Bioshock in the background. That'd be pretty cool. I'm a big fan of, Bi of the uh, big daddy from Bioshock. All right, well, put some through here. So a core reef. I'm going to call this the fire reef. Right there. Over there. What else? We got another area in there. That's all. We got that area right there. It's an area right here we got to get right here that's right there what else we need to get it right down here and we got a piece we got that one we got that one that one that one all these are done let's go close these in just a little bit the more red i put in the more sensors will pop up sensors in there. Okie doke. All right. I'm going to leave it at this for now. We'll add some other stuff in. I can always go in and overlay this and add more stuff in if I want. All right. So then we got all that. It's going to be on fire pretty soon. Let's go in and put our, these are our little sensors that are popping up here and here. We drop our sensors at. Now we're done with this. Now we're going to go in and select something to put up there. I say we put some plasma up there. Plasma looks really cool. So we do the plasma. Or I can put in a hypnotic kind of special effect. Like this right here. We can do this. Change it over that hypnotic effect. Go back out of that one. Or we can put a crazy glow into it. Or this is a plasma. Plasma is kind of sick. So I'm going to do the plasma for right now. There's the plasma wiring up. Over to our underwater fish exhibit. Should have put something in heavier in there but it's not deep enough uh, let's try something else let's try another um more brighter color i can see it in there it's just not bright enough all right i got something i can go ahead and change we're actually going to my editing and add some brighter levels and stuff like that so let me grab this one right here i'm gonna grab the plasma the plasma actually works much better we go back into designs Go back into um, blah, 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 and scroll down. Get that plasma. Plasma comes up real nice. We should have water on water. Let's go over to the plasma. It's not the plasma. There's the plasma. 
Cause it's going to come out much better. Then we go down to our bottom. We got blending, hue, loop, count, rainbow. Actually, I have a rainbow effect on it too. A rainbow on it. Color blending. There we go. Oh, that's better. There we go. That's much better. Kind of reminds me of one of those Annie Garcia paintings where you have the black lights. All right, that's freaking cool. Do an object. Hold on for a minute. Let me show you something real quick. Right, so we're gonna come out of here with the video real quick. We'll shut this one down. And you'll see what it looks like without the video. Once I take the video away, that's what you'll see. So let's go do something crazy. Let's change Brute. I'm gonna change Brute's appearance. So we're gonna come in here. I'll go to a picture. I'm going to mess around the video a little bit more, but I just want to see if I could get away with it and if I can actually scan a video while I was actually working. Because I'm thinking, like, I'm scanning over a projector, another projector. Is that going to even work? Like, it's going to interfere with the picture quality? And eventually it doesn't. So, that's interesting right there. So, let's grab an object. Let's go grab Groot. Where is Groot at? I'm going to grab Groot. Put him here. Come here, Bruce. Yeah. 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 Group there. I'm gonna see if I can get myself another action figure from upstairs. Let's get rid of this background real quick. Get ready to rescan. Tripping over my stuff again. I want to make this look like it's on. So this is a light with a giant light bulb on it. Let's illuminate this and make it look like it's on, but it's not on, it's off. And I'm going to use this at nighttime for a demonstration. I need to cope that with that invisible technology tomorrow because I bought that lamp. It's a $30 light bulb and it just sucks. It just doesn't look right. All right, Groot, I need you. This is so cool. Close. A little bit this way. I can see your eyes. There you go. Stand still. Take your picture. All right. I guess I'll change your background too. Leave the background in there. I wonder if I can basically. Would you like some onions? Hmm. Well, that would be interesting. If I can put a star field in the background using the projector. And I can put Groot and just scan him. I wonder if I can scan over an object while an object's being hit with a projector. Like, can I get around that? All right, that's going to be interesting. That I got to do now. Okay, let's put in a star field real quick. We're going to turn this projector back on. We're going to put a star field demonstration on. We're going to hit Groot and hit the screen. Then we're going to scan over both of them. Then we're going to actually design Groot with all this kind of weird colors and stuff that glows. And then we're going to actually, well, you'll see. People wonder why I don't sleep. This is why I don't sleep. Who can freaking sleep? Yeah. We get to do all this weird stuff all day. Right. So we're going to put the star field behind Groot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scan Groot and the star field at the same time. Groot, 
you're about to go to outer space. I am Groot. For the fellow who placed the order for the two quarts, you got the screen already. It's yours. I'll be packing it up, getting ready for it to ship out for you. Yes, right after I made that statement about that 30, 135 inch elite screen surface, somebody came and put an order in that quick. So they get the screen. It's theirs. I'll pack it up, put it in a big box for you. You're good to go. If you're watching this, I'll send you an email too to confirm that you have it. All right, let me see. Um, to I'm not worrying about the white edges in the background because I can get around that I can actually color and camouflage the white areas behind Groot if I want to actually get rid of that so what we're going to do first we're just going to basically give Groot some really freaking cool insane colors so first we're going to start off is with the magic brush right there is that my magic brush or magic roller whatever it is I think it, you know, it's brush brush no no I gotta use a brush on Groot no, oh, no, no, wait, wait, I gotta do two different ones. So I gotta zoom this up a little bit because he is too far back. So we gotta bring him up to around 33 enough. Nope, not 33 enough. Let's bring him up to around 66. That'll work. He's close enough now so we can see him. Now we just have to go in and change some things about him. So, uh, oh, colors. I gotta work with this. I'm gonna change my colors here. I haven't got around to do that yet. So let's see if we can get his eyeballs done first. So that's gonna give me the first layer. Here we go. It's got to go far in his eyes. How do you know where you're going? You don't know where you're going. Going because you're going because you know where you're going. some of his eyes there all right and this is the magic wand I'm using the magic wand is easier for filling spots up more harder more difficult areas to hit and we use the wand for this and then for the markings and Groot's body I would use a brush for that one all right so now we got that done let's go over to his uh, his mouth put a little smile on him Let's change that over to our brush. Oh, that's too wide. It's way too wide. I need something thinner than that. Let me see what we got going on here. Oh, that's thin, but that might be too thin. So I need a freaking mouse pad over here. That's just going to be hard to do. My drawing skills aren't so great. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so let's just draw some lines into them. So let's start off with here. We got a nice line here. It's going here. I don't have to be straight for any of this. We'll draw one there. We'll get all those little lines in there. We'll glow all this up. Oh, this is going to glow. Go here, and it's here. Let's get this area right in here. I'm going to get that in there real good. There we go. All right, that's good right there. Now we'll screw down to the bottom part of his chest. All this is going to look like is basically he's generating energy. Okay. His arm a little bit. Bring around down here. detail I put into them the better it gets. It's got some power now. I'm 
know what bothers me the most? The monitor. Monitors give me freaking headaches. I'm gonna have to build me a small little projection screen setup for this. I got an idea on how to build one because the monitors give me really, really, really bad migraines. All right, my head is pounding right now from looking at this monitor and my phone at the exact same time. That's not good. All right, more lines I put into him, the better off he comes off. All right, I think we got a hand here. All right, so now we got here. Let's get this back area too. I want to thicken these up a little bit here. A little more, more thicker, a little thicker, a little thicker. You got right here. No, a little thicker than that. I want a huge stream of power just going down the side of this here. Like, rah. Power. Lightning, yeah, power. I know it looks stupid, but trust me, when it hits with the projector, trust me, you're going to be, oh, it's freaking amazing. Okay. All right, so now we got this. We're going to bring this down a little bit more. Now we got to get his feet. So now we got to bring it up to around. I think uh, 33 may get me the feet in there. Yeah, 33 will get me the feet. All right, so now we're just going to line all this up in here. Bring this down to the bottom where the feet are at. Make sure all his roots, this is his power roots. Bring this one out of here. There we go. Just make that an internal root right there. All right, there we go. And I want to zoom up a little bit on the head. Bring this head up to 66. Is he gonna bring this down? Ah, wrong choice. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Shouldn't hit that. Let me get that out of here. Let me get that racing. Get that out of there. That's gone. All right. Let me get that out of there. Ugh, I don't know what I was thinking. All right. I'm gonna widen this a little bit because I just want to get his roots a little thicker. Some of them want to be a little thicker. There we go. Just a few of them in there. Let's make one a little thicker in there. Different, different strands. Some will be thicker, some will be thinner. There we go. So you're saying, oh, that looks like a complete mess. But just give me, give me. Okay, so now we're gonna come put this over to 25, which we usually put it at 25, so we can see the whole layout right there. We got the stars going off in the background. Let's go over and let's hit create a surface. There's all my little sensors that will pop up. And let's give him some energy. So we're gonna give him some power surging through him, like energy. Like all his roots are coming alive, they are radiating. Okay, so let's come over here and let's grab, um, blah, 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 blah. let's grab, uh, which ones we want? We want this right here. There we go. Now we need to change this over because it has to be green. So let's change it over to green. Just with they're pretty good right there. Put a nice loop in them. It works a little faster. That's good right there. I want the green to be a little bit more green. A little bit more green in there. There we go. Good, good nice deep green. All right, so all that's done, and let's publish. Power Groot. Now I can slow it down so it looks like it's like generating through its body. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll slow it down a little bit. So he doesn't look like he's like going on and off like a giant flashlight. At nighttime, that looks freaky as I know, but it's pretty cool. These are good to have if you're going to have for Halloween. If you're going to basically do your background, add a little extra to it. You can make your wolf's eyes glow and fire and all that cool stuff you want to do. So let's go back in and let's uh, let change something on that real quick. Go back into our insert. Loop is a little bit too. Let me slow it down a little bit. I'm going to color in the green. Right up in the green. Well, I get a little bit of shock. Should be about good right there. All right, publish that one. Somebody must know. Somebody must know. Kevin's 
There we go. Now we slow it down a bit. And that way, you can see him generate a little bit better. in outer space, which is cool that we can scan stuff behind us. Let's see if we can mess with the screen behind us too. Let me see. I'm going to go let me see here. Screen's in outer space. Um, this is where I'm probably not messing it up, you know what I mean? Experimenting. So now we got the back area where the screen's at. I want to go to the back of the screen and see. that for special effects around him. I want to go to the surface. Let's see. Working work the entire background. Or I can just bring it down. So it just fit the screen just perfectly. Just wanted to hit the screen. Stuff, just seeing what I can get away with. I wonder what that little area was that would allow me to be able just to minimize it to where he was at. I'm curious what that is. So let me see if I go into that right there. I want to hit this right here. I know I'm doing some crazy stuff. I'm just curious to see if I can get away with some fun here. I'm going to go call a bunch of my family. Some of them are stationed overseas right now, so I have to wait. To wish them happy th um, Thanksgiving. I have to go jump on my uh, PC, do it from Skype calls. I have family all over the place. They're stationed everywhere. And uh, see how they're doing. Let's take this background out all together. There we go. You can get rid of the background. Let's take the whole thing out. Let's cancel out the whole background. Let's remove my background. There we go. We go back to where it was. Just take the whole piece out. Okay. Well, I am going to be working on next. I'm downloading my logo for my company and I'm adding special effects to that um, because I want to be able to add this. You can save your files. I'm saving that file. I'm going to turn it into a 3D logo, and that way I can punch that through black glass or the technology I'm de um, designing, and I can advertise anywhere I want. So what we're going to be doing is, Al, I can't tell you about that project because that's a bit of a secret. 
but it's a new way for me to, I'm actually just working on hologramming my logo using this kind of technology. All right, well, with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here real quick. Be safe out there, have fun. I'm not gonna interrupt you anymore today. I do apologize if I've been coming and showing you a lot of videos and stuff. I've just been anxious to show you what I've been working on. But I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get something to eat, finally get something to eat for today, and I'm gonna watch some TV and call some family. All right, be safe, be blessed.